Well, we know that the holidays are all about a bringing holiday cheer and there's one group up in the Prescott area that's bringing holiday cheer to a lot of people in the community and it is the Firefighter Angels Foundation and Cody is up there with us. Cody, how are you this morning? I'm good this morning, Brad. Thank you for having me. So, hey, uh, Cody, we are in that time now where it is going to be very busy for you guys. Um, toys have been dropped, you're all set to go. You guys are doing wrapping, all kinds of stuff, but let's remind people about the Firefighter Angels Foundation, what you do. Yeah, so the organization started in 2008 with just uh, one delivery to a family in need, and then it's expanded now to where we do over 30 deliveries during the week of Christmas, and that goes with the fire truck, the police officers, and then we also do um, deliveries with just the firefighters take those out to individual houses throughout the, the Christmas week. So usually in the Christmas week we deliver to over a thousand kids are getting some kind of toys or gifts. So it's evolved from the one family to thousands of kids now, and then we also do stuff throughout the year we have a car show event that we do for our fundraiser we also have a, a golf tournament that we do we do several things throughout the years fundraisers to be able to do this and then we do a, a back to school event where we give backpacks full of school supplies so the kids are ready to go back to school so several things throughout the year but now is the time for Christmas and now everybody's excited that we, we got everything here we got everything at the warehouse we're ready to do some wrapping here in a few days to get that going and then then do the deliveries which is the joyful part and we get to see all the hard work comes into doing the deliveries and seeing these kids faces. Yeah, what's also neat too is that your firefighters up there also come together and you guys go shopping. Even where you have to stop the guys going, you guys, I'm sorry, someone has to be at the firehouse, uh, but they all love to go out and yeah. do their part. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we do. We usually try to get two or three engines there, and then we'll try to get some several police officers. And, and it's funny you say that, too, because they'll get a call and listen to the call, and if it's not that that uh, type of emergency or something that's a serious call, they'll be like, can we just stay here and let somebody else go on that? We love doing this. So, yeah, everybody loves going shopping and, and getting all these toys and, and clothes for the kids. So it's a, it's definitely a very fun time of year for us. It is, and, and those calls are the one they talk about is I've, I've been there when it's like been a cat in a tree or something like that. They're like, okay, we'll be there in a minute. <laughs> and they finish the shopping, but uh, yeah. I've seen them also too leave during emergencies and then return back after they've taken care of the uh, emergency in the community to make sure they finish their shopping. They just don't drop it off to someone else. Uh, they get back there because they know how important this is to seeing those kids, to seeing those families have that holiday cheer. And, and that's what it's about this year. Yeah, exactly. It's not something we have to worry about when they go on a call. Are we going to make sure they come back or no? It's those those guys do everything they can to get back. And I think last year when we do it, they skipped through lunch and they weren't even worried about getting food. I don't think they ate till five or six o'clock that night. So, it's it's definitely something that the the guys love to do and, and enjoy doing. And and again, it goes back to making putting smiles on the faces of families that that probably aren't going through a joyful time yeah. when we're there to see them. Yeah, and we're looking through right now, and it's not just about toys it's also about clothes that uh, you make sure they have because it's cold up there and and of course you know people think just the kids want toys but there are other things they need too yeah, yeah, and the main thing we try to get them is those bare necessities that they need. So it's the clothes, the jackets, the socks, blankets, anything that they need just to survive in their household. And then we try to get something that's that's something they probably would never get um, outside of that. We've gotten trampolines, we've gotten drum sets, we've gotten guitars, we've gotten lots of large items. That, something just to, again, put that smile back on their face that they probably don't have at that time. Yeah, uh, I also want to mention too that it is a family affair. Your, your family gets involved, the firefighters, families get involved, especially when it comes to wrapping and making sure those presents are, are, are perfect. And I know you, it's lovely. your wife has a honeydew list for all you guys when you walk in there. And one's a wrapper, one's putting the tape on, one's doing a bow. It's great how that all comes together. Yeah, it's definitely a, a systematic event that we have, and, and it's each kid has its own color of wrapping paper, and we got to make sure it's that color and, and how we put the tape on and do all that. She's very, very meticulous that we get that done right. But <laughs> yeah, and our family's been doing it, like I said, since 2008, and I, our boys are now 16 and 20, and they've done that since they were little, and they don't know anything different. But I think it's very, very good for them to understand that, you know, we take, we take advantage of what we have and, and take it for granted, but then when they see some of these families, 
families and what they're going through, they understand that we have we all have it pretty well and what we're where we're at. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, uh, Cody, we thank you for all you're doing up there with the uh, Angel Foundation and of course uh, you do in the community and all the firefighters and stuff. So, and thank you for letting us be a part of your of course, hometown hero toy drive uh, up there. And, and so it's great to everybody who's there. So we appreciate it. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, thank you, Brad. And thank you to AZ TV for everything they've done for us. Yeah, and we thank you out there. And of course, the way you can get involved is go to aztv.com slash hometown heroes toy drive right there on your screen. Uh, aztv.com slash hometown heroes. And we have to thank Desert Financial Credit Union along with Valley of the Sun United Way and Lincoln Heritage and all our other partners for making this possible. Still, go to the website. You can donate or, of course, you can buy a toy and we'll get it right to the right places. So, all right. Got more holiday cheer to bring you after this.